today we're gonna be working on building what? Um, Cosmo's fence. Cosmo's fence. For temporary. Yeah. So we're back here by the barn and um, the chickens, the ducks, the um, cats, the goats, they're all really close to right here. Um, the goats are just a little bit further where he is. I have him kind of chained up by him um, just so he can kind of get used to where I wanted him. And then I'm going to move him over here with us. But anyways, we're going to be working in this pen, building it up for him so that he can be back here and kind of get used to everybody in a safe environment, get used to seeing him. And then um, we'll also be working on taking him into the pen and taking him around him and stuff also, which we did a little bit of that yesterday. And he seemed to listen really good with commands, so that makes me happy about that. And then um, I'm also educating myself on their breed and uh, good training tips. So if you have any, we appreciate them. Um, but I am like looking up YouTube channels and just research online. So we are excited to have him and be able to have this um, area available to him. But that's what we're gonna be working on today. So this is where all the dirt was yesterday that we cleared out the boxes and everything and it's all up there in the actually right there uh, where the garden's gonna be yeah i think that might have been a carrot from last year <laughs> anyways we got um we had all this done except for this one side so this is what we're going to work on today is going down on this side and then on this um back area so it's a really big area for him to run around in and then this will be where the um actual gate to come in and out of it will be um, I have a question, Mommy. How do right. you get carrot seeds? When the carrot flowers. Uh. <laughs> yeah, so you, as you can see, it's a really big area, and um, he'll have plenty of room. And then we're going to wrap it, I think. I think we're going to wrap it if we have enough fence. Um, I think the boards would actually hold him in fine, but... Um, if we have enough fencing, we're gonna we have like a tall fence, uh, so we're gonna wrap this around also to make sure he can't jump out. Anyways, hey guys, we're about to get busy. Let me show you my husband over here goofing off. Oh, are you not gonna do it now? Nope. nope. <laughs> All right, come along today. Hope you guys hey, enjoy it. Hey guys, if you ever get um, one of the big fluffy polar bear dogs and they put their paw up to you, if you are prepared to pick them up, then they're trying to give you a hug like this. They tried to go up like and give you a hug. Do you remember what his breed is called? No. Great Pyrenees. Hmm. <laughs> hey. All right, here we go. Mama brought that big old water thing out. Keeps it cold, huh? Yeah. You silly boy. I so dripping. You gonna drink out of that Coke? No. Oh, it's dripping. That's okay. Just drink your water and we can put the cup back under it. Okay. I love you. Dawson. You cool. Dawson. What? I love you.
Mm-hmm. And then I drove a little one. Yeah, you drove two back, didn't you? Yeah. That's awesome. So this is my tulip tree, and this is the hammock and the post. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put the hammock over and then latch it to the post. Or we could put a tarp. And I think these we'll are put wood so it doesn't blow off. Wood? I think it's pretty windy back over here. She's gonna go over them with Daddy. I wish I video that. Yeah. And these are for what? The shelter? Yeah. Right? In the gate? My idea. These are all for the shelter. Oh, okay. And I put all the gate. I put the gate one up there. I only have one gate idea. Okay. Because I thought you guys would like it. Cool. And I do.
huggy. Hang on. He wearing a hug? He broke this collar on was, a leash earlier, so. I'm yeah. Just gonna... When we were recording last, he like broke it. He like broke it. There we go. When we were recording earlier, he like broke it like right after. Oop. You excited, Daddy? Come on! Look at him! Oh, you need a hug. Is that what it was? We prepared to pick these dogs up by like giving you hugs. He always has to have a hug when he comes out before we get started. Huh? Give you a hug. Yes. All right. Get down. Down. Mom, how how do you put that week back better? Let's go. We oh, might get. On. At the end Your of the video, we everybody. can probably I give you guys it. some facts yeah. about these dogs. And how to train them and stuff, maybe. Oh, how do you get mine in the dog? Okay, now I'm recording. You can say what you want. Well, we are the dog my own Seth family. Well, you know what? what? Well, we got that dog from a lady. Yeah, you gave her an envelope. Yeah, I gave my, my We are also okay. trying learning how to train them, but mom and dad looked on YouTube and we found the video. How to like kind of train them. You want to come in? You can. Sure. Listen to mommy more because she, she's the one going to be training him. But I'm going to help train him too. So, oh, he's being. He's going to go mark his territory. Yeah. Everywhere. He's been doing. He's been. He's been peeing ever he's since we got him home. Here, isn't it? He's mm. been. He's been peeing ever since we brought him home. Haven't you, buddy? There you go. I got some pretty good ideas, oops, on a shelter of oh, things. I got I some got pretty good ideas on a shelter for mm -hmm. him. That's my tulip tree up there. Pretty. Gross tulip. The state tree. It's a pretty good fence. Here's where he can like jump up and like like pet him. Like if he wants to jump, he can also put him through here. And that's his whole fence. He has, it's, it's, it doesn't have that much grass, really. But it has a lot of sticks and stuff. And then he like likes to dig. He likes like to dig. There? He's only like two years old. He's so big. Yeah, he's a digger. He's a good dog. We're going to work on getting him um, some. Water. We're going to work on giving him your water. Because it's supposed okay. to rain tomorrow. You know where it is then, right? Yeah. For some reason, he likes this bucket more than the bucket that we had up at our other dog pen. For some reason. Is <laughs> he trying to give you all the kisses? Yeah. Oh, now you're going to get a really wet one. <laughs> it's kind of sad because they're out. They're outside dogs and they're so white. And then when they're outside, they get so dirty mm -hmm. with their beautiful white coats. He's so fluffy. <laughs> Just know you're not supposed to shave them. Because they have an undercoat that protects them in the heat or something. Yeah. He got white all over me. I told you. I said there's no clothes that won't be nasty now. Because he likes kisses and hugs. <laughs> he likes Pluto he like, he, 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 and his He can get you. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> he likes hugs. He goes like, now he's gave me a kiss. All right, so we decided not to wrap the fence. We're gonna see how he does with just this. Um, so this is me standing at one end. So he has like this whole area to run around. It is a pretty and, big While area. he's being trained and everything. And then we're gonna put him a shelter about right where he's sitting because this tree is the only shade. So we're Why just gonna to put it about right in the, the middle. Well, cause when it's really hot, you want it in the shade. Um, and then the summer or winter time, there's actually, you know, all the leaves are gone, so it's not as shady. So then he'll get the heat. So it's exactly where you need it. Anyways, um, we got the gate done, and he does like to dig, so we went ahead and put this board across the bottom. Um, later on, if we have the concrete, we will, but, and then we, uh, put it right here, a piece of, an extra piece of wood on the side so that he couldn't get through there. Oh, you're ready. Our kennel up front, he was, uh, we realized he was trying to squeeze through the side. I actually had to go out in the, uh, at night and, like, chain it up more together because he was, like, had his head and his one leg out. <laughs> so, we're learning about him. I'm going to give you fact and don't say command more than uh -uh. once because, uh, basically, they won't listen to you. 
I guess because they think you're stupid or no, something. It's not cause of that. And no. it'll like it just they won't listen to you anymore. They won't listen to you anymore. Yeah. So you're watching a thing this morning talking about how great Pyrenees are very smart dogs and they listen very well. But if you keep giving the commandment over and over again, they kind of learn that, oh, well, she'll just keep saying it over and over again and I can listen later and not the first time. So that's like a trick we learned. And then she was talking about the undercoat. They said that there's a, um, what was it about the undercoat? What was it? Just a, yeah, that there's like an extra undercoat that cools them down um, underneath. So they'll like shed, but they'll keep that undercoat that during the summer. So you're not supposed to shave them because of that. That's what she was talking about also. And you should put their food up on something because it twists their stomach. <laughs> See the sun in our eyes. Yeah, they said that because they're bigger dogs to put their food up uh, a little higher because um, it can twist their stomachs up. Look, I got it inside of But, all right. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and talk about some shelters to put in here. Isabella had all her ideas, so. Yeah, she's got a lot. <laughs> so her and daddy are going to go talk about it and try to get that done. We just wanted to get him in here so we can kind of watch him before it got dark to see how he's acting, see if there's something else we needed to do. Um, because we have a bee school, t a beekeeper school tomorrow, so. And that's another reason why we need to get a shelter. Yeah, so we need to get it done today, everything, and be able to watch him um, make sure it goes well. So, all right, here we go with the shelter. So this was my one of my favorite ideas. Um, so we have like two big water containers, two big two big water containers. We put them on each side, put like a board over top of it, and then like put a bunch of tires under, and then um, I took too many of those. And then and then we put cushions in them, and then he has a water bottle. He's going work it, work it, work it. He's working out, and then he can silly. get drink, and then he can drink out of that. Oh yeah. But I don't think he can do that. Cause, I mean, dogs are smart, but they're not that smart. <laughs> <laughs> Could you train him to do that, you think? Maybe. I hope I can. <laughs> All right, Daddy. It's one of my... It's one. Bella, you guys talk some more. Work it out. Have fun. <laughs>
What are we doing with all of them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. She's standing on 12? Okay. Well, it went really smooth. She wasn't aggressive about it. She kind of got vocal when we were actually moving the eggs, but seems like she wants to sit back down on them. She's pushing them back in, so that's a good sign. We'll just keep an eye on her, make sure she's got food and water close by, and um, Looks like she wants to be a broody mama. We'll see how it goes. She's got uh, 12 under her. I think she was sitting on five and then I put some more from today on her under her. So she's now got 12. We'll see how it goes. An update, you guys. Okay. I wish I had that on recording because I thought I hit the button that whole time and I didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting a little dark. Looks bad <laughs> with our tarps and stuff on it, but this is the house for Cosmo. Uh, we just did pallets and stuff. Oh, now the camera's getting blurry. And then threw some tarps over because it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. So I just want to make sure that he had something to get uh, in to stay dry. Um, we wanted to do a little bit a different idea, but at this point it was getting dark and we just needed to get it done because we were leaving early in the morning and we wouldn't have time to, um, with it getting dark and going to be raining tomorrow, we just didn't have time to do what we wanted to, cutting all the wood and all that. So, all right, Cosmo, I hope you stay in tonight. You be a good dog, okay? All right. It's another great day on the homestead. Um, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to go get my kiddos a shower and in bed and help my husband clean up all of our tools. <laughs> all right. God bless everybody. Say bye, Cosmo. <laughs>